What the fuck's up, guys? It's the BYT here, back in our video responding to Paulston. Well, it, it seemed real, and that's what you gotta do to get over. You had to be believable. At least it was believable, which is half the shit that you don't even do. The shit that y'all want to do. The believability believe. argument. Seth Rollins with oh the fucking title. So I gotta listen to fucking Seth Rollins. You cut a Shush Rollins promo. That's not because the fans. Dragons and shit. That's not because of the fans. Star Wars <laughs> you really think Seth Rollins winning the titles because of the fans? You Come like, on. You thought that Ro Daniel Bryan should have won the World Rumble. Is that why I've got to suffer right now through this garbage of every guy coming out here and, and saying, Oh, well, we want this guy. We want Adrian Neville. He needs to be champion immediately or Sammy Zay. I want these guys to have to build. And they have, like, no fucking charisma. Irrelevant. No fucking really decent character. They're, they're just here. The shit started with Daniel Bryan. No, with it Daniel didn't. Bryan. No, it didn't. <laughs> And then he grows this long-ass, retarded-ass beard. He doesn't look like a fucking champion. The guy's like what, five foot seven, probably at the most. No, he's like five foot ten. Five foot six, actually. He's a really short guy. He's tall. So there is an example of Paulston just just trying to make it seem like trying to hammer his point across to trying to make you think it's right. He's not even that small. He's like two hundred ten pounds, and he's like five foot ten. He's not even that small, and he's pretty. Pretty jacked for his size. And, I mean, all this is he's saying is not proving why Daniel Bryan killed the WWE. I want some facts behind this. Not just your opinions. Uh, aim low. He's not really that high of a flyer. Oh, wow. He can climb up to the tur turnbuckle and do a diving headbutt. Wow. Ooh, ooh, I'm impressed. I've never seen that before. Um, he's done plenty of high-flying moves in ROH. <laughs> so, uh... He does a running shove. All he does is kicks and stuff. It doesn't even look his The moves. kicks are part of his moveset. That's basically a trademark, a damn Ryan trademark, because they chant yes when he kicks. It's pretty cool, if you ask me. Because it feels like you're in... It feels like you're... You know, it feels like you're, like, in a group, you know? And all these guys like the things you like. And, I mean, it seems pretty cool if you're a Daniel Bryan fan. I mean, if it isn't, I mean, of course you're just going to say it's kicks. But, once again, this isn't proving why Daniel Bryan killed the WWE if he just does kicks in the ring. That doesn't even look believable. He's not having uh, five-star matches, really. I'd say He's about had some really good matches in WWE. And, plus, that whole argument about Daniel Bryan never just all he does is kicks... Yeah, he now, I mean, yeah, he does a lot of kicks, but he also does a lot of chain wrestling. You know, in the CM Punk matches, he did a lot of wrestling moves. You know, when he faces, like, the smaller guys, he's done some really great wrestling moves in WWE. Some nice ROH-style moves. You know, I mean, it's not just him kicking. Three-star matches. I mean, he's done some good wrestling moves with Triple H, that one match. Star matches at the most. He had some pretty good matches with CM Punk. He had a good match with Bray Wyatt. Outside of that... He's had good matches with Bray Wyatt, the Wyatt family, the Shield, the CM Punk. I mean, John Cena brought um, Randy Orton. He's had some good... He's had a great good match with anybody, if you ask me. The um, Dolph Ziggler. He's had really good matches with everybody, so... Go watch his Big Show matches. Go watch his Kane matches. Go watch the matches... He can't put them guys over. Nobody he, can put over Kane in the big show anymore. <laughs> That's just unrealistic. He cannot wrestle against those guys. Why the fuck would you think that this guy right here needs to be... Oh, he'll save the fucking ratings. He'll save... He killed the fucking ratings. No, he didn't. The ratings have been dead ever since you... How did he kill the ratings? How? The, you know the WrestleMania? Um, the Raw after WrestleMania... That year when he won the title, that Raw drew more than the Raw after this year's WrestleMania. When Brock Lesnar was the champ, I mean, uh, when Seth Rollins won the title, and then they were going to have a championship match, Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins, or they falsely advertised. But then when Daniel Bryan announced he was going to have a championship match, there was more rate, that, uh, that show got a higher rating than this year's WrestleMania show. Dan O'Brien, I mean, he only had the belt for a month, and he was, like, on two Raws. I mean, you can't really say he killed the ratings. I mean, he's had some good ratings. When he came back from, uh, 
injury. The SmackDown rating went up 10%. That's a lot, if you ask me. Try to come over here and put the fucking belt on Daniel Bryan and make him the John Cena of the WWE. Have been dead. It's proven. It's a disaster. It's a fail. It's a Titanic listening to you guys. You know, that's funny because when WWE started to push Roman Reigns, or I mean, when they're, well, now they're heavily pushing Roman Reigns now, the ratings are terrible. He drew a 2.1. How is Daniel Bryan killing the ratings? He's not even here. The ratings are starting to decline more, and he's not even here. So how does that prove that they killed the WWE? When they're pushing a guy that the Smarks, quote-unquote, don't like. The quote-unquote Smarks. It's a sinking fucking ship in the WWE. Listening to you stupid asses talking about how you want fucking Daniel Bryan to be over and to be the man and to be the champion and to be the next John Cena. Who knows? That could draw a lot. And you want him shoved down your throat. Name me one fucking thing that Daniel Bryan's done where you could sit there and say that's his Austin 316 moment. Well, I mean, he's had the great moments when he won the title, when he did the Occupy Raw, when he did the cool thing with the Wyatt family. I mean, those are three great moments, in my opinion. I mean, once again, just because, in your opinion, he didn't have an Austin 316 moment doesn't mean um, that the... Hold on, I'm losing track here. That doesn't mean that, basically... He's killing the WWE. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what you're saying really doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, he's over anyways. You can sit there and say The Rock whenever he smashed fucking uh, um, Ken Shamrock in the fucking face with the chair. That was his 316 moment. Whenever Hogan uh, slammed Andre the Giant, that was his fucking 316 moment. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> Whenever CM Punk did okay. his five-bomb promo, that was his 316 moment. Once again, those are all stuff that you liked. You liked. And there's tons of fans that enjoyed and probably thought that was Daniel Bryan's Austin 316 moment. What, those three moments I listed. There have been so many fucking guys in the WWE that they could have built up. Over fucking that Daniel Bryan's took a lot of fucking people's spots, man. He's killed a lot of fucking shit. Like I said, he stopped the momentum of the Wyatts. He stopped the no, momentum he didn't. of the fucking um, John Cena did, and everybody can agree with me on that. It's a fact. Shield. Stop the momentum. He didn't Maybe. stop the momentum of the Shield. What are you talking about? The Shield were pretty were <laughs> probably at their highest point when they broke up. This fucking tracks. The Shield couldn't even really be. Uh, Daniel Bryan without cheating, they had to cheat, so, yeah, that's believable. Being, but they didn't lose any popularity, they still stayed the same, and give me some examples where they had to cheat, I mean, I can't name one, I remember when they beat Daniel Bryan at TLC 2012, clean in a TLC match, putting him through a table, but... Ryback, he fucking hijacked, y'all wanna sit there and talk about how, oh, Roman Reigns is stealing Daniel Bryan's storyline. Whenever fucking Daniel Bryan stole CM Punk's, that, sh that was CM Punk's push. That I never said that, so, uh, Daniel not gonna Bryan really <laughs> say anything to that. Daniel Bryan right on the level of fucking Dolph Ziggler and fucking all them other guys. Really, Ryback should be... That's your opinion, Punk. but the facts are Daniel Bryan was the most over guy in the company when he won the title. There's no denying that. You can't deny that. Oh, well, I feel like, so then they'll make an excuse. Oh, it was, that wasn't organic. Yes, it was. His popularity increased over time, organically. It's not just because he was a great wrestler. Ryback's momentum. Ryback should be a hell of a lot higher and a little, a hell of a lot more progressed right now than Daniel Bryan. Wade Barrett should be out there. Like Daniel Bry Ryback's boring and sucks. <laughs> He doesn't do anything. He doesn't bring anything to the table. He just puts on shitty matches, and is, he's not even a good talker. Hell no, we have to stop, because you like muscled up steroid freak guys and yada, yada, yada that you fucking people. You know what? You're not watching your own shit. You're not watching ROH. You're not watching New Japan. You may claim that you watch fucking New Japan 
And that's again irrelevant to what he's trying to prove. Uh, watch ROH, but I guarantee you, you dumbasses are watching. None of this is worth responding to <laughs> at all. Because I don't even think that way, and um, this is irrelevant to what he's trying to accomplish in this video. Fucking NXT. Well, this is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah, right. It's awesome, right? The fucking ratings are falling off a fucking cliff. There can't get. We can't get any excitement in this. Nobody wants to cover this shit in the YWC anymore. And I blame that shit on Daniel. How? You haven't given any reasons to why. Brian Fan. This is exactly what I blame it on. Well, so now it's Daniel fans Bryan now, not Daniel Bryan. Full roster. He cannot put over everybody. He's not that great in the ring. His move set kind of fucking sucks, if you want to know. His fucking, uh, he's dull on the mic. He is boring. Doesn't matter, he's the most over guy in the company. Only thing that he has is the yes chance, and that's it. That's the only thing you idiots can sit So I guess there'll be a part four for this. 